Our next guests are with a design and development company that makes high performance everyday use cases to protect our devices. And I say our devices because they have been very well known over the years and on our show for many years talking about protecting phone cases. Well, they're doing more than just phone cases these days. We'll talk about that. Joining us on the program uh, for the first time is the uh, founder, a co-founder and chief creator, Josh Wright. Josh, welcome into tomorrow. How Thank are you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Glad to have you with us and delighted to have back with us again the co-founder and creator, uh, CEO of Catalyst is June Lai. June, welcome back into tomorrow. How you doing? Thank you, Dave. I'm doing well. Good. You keep coming up with new things and, of course, companies with new products. You've got them literally covered in every sense of the word. Yes. yes. And, uh, and you've done that. Uh, you're prepared with uh, whatever the new iPhone may or may not be. <laughs> yes. Being developers of, of quality accessory products, you have all the specs and dimensions and everything. So you're ready to go as soon as they've announced the new iPhone, presumably an iPhone 8 with all kind of neat things you can protect it from the get-go? Huh? Well, actually, uh, we don't get the device data, but we actually work off of rumors to start our development early so that we understand a little bit of how we're going to handle different features that Apple may launch with. Ah. Yeah, we test everything we can beforehand. Like, you know, everyone's had the same rumors where the Touch ID might be built into the screen, so we were testing that technology, uh, wireless charging through the back of the case, so we use our current products to test all the different features that might show up based on what the rumors are. Ah, so that makes it difficult for you because if some of the rumors are great and you go, whew, got yeah. that covered, and others are like, what do you mean? They made it wider than we thought, yeah. <laughs> and you've engineered cases for the wrong size it, now. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge, but we try to accommodate all the possible solutions and make it to market as fast as we can. Ah, very good. And you've been doing a good job of that for, for some years, but what inspired you guys, since you are the co-founders and creators of this company, to get started to begin with? Well, we really built these products for ourselves. In, in Hong Kong, where we're based, uh, it's uh, two-thirds of the territory is jungle, waterfalls, and beaches, and we were outside all the time. And our iPhone started to become the things we were using for navigation, photography, communication, uh, even our route guides for the climbing crags were you know, on PDFs on our phones, but we couldn't use them. They were getting destroyed uh, in just the dirt, uh, of course, drops, and we had summer uh, you know, rains that would just torrentially downpour. So we decided, hey, why don't we make uh, something cool that we can protect our iPhones and take them outside? And that's really how it started. Um, and it turned out to be a very challenging um, proposition to make a waterproof case, but not only waterproof, but actually function like a phone. Yeah. And I think that uh, we're very well known for our acoustic performance in our products, as well as having some of the highest performance specs on the market for this type of product. Our newest iPhone 7 cases are actually uh, 10 meters or 33 feet waterproof. Wow. Yes, it's, incredi it's incredibly <laughs> waterproof. Uh, our, our Apple Watch cases, which are we're the only company in the world to have a product for the Apple Watch. Yeah, we, in fact, we've recently gave several away that awesome. you guys sent us. So listeners that have had, had Apple Watches uh, have been protecting them since. That's great. Uh, but this is... That's uh, actually 100 meters waterproof or 330 feet waterproof. So you can absolutely go diving. With, I, we're from Miami, so there's a lot of that going on I, in I, our neck I, of the woods. I do go diving with my Apple Watch. No yeah. kidding. Only You can only do it now with the Catalyst case. That's, that's correct. So. That's, that's what I mean. Other guys on the dive boat would take their Apple Watch off. Yeah. And then go dive and put it back on. And I'm like, nope, just going to go diving. Yeah, all you guys need to do is buy one of these, and I'm sure you sell a bunch that way. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah, but the, I want to make a comment, though, about our waterproof ratings. It's not really about using it for diving or being 10 meters deep with your iPhone. Our, our, our specs are very high, but it's really for us about confidence. You don't really need to take your device that deep underwater. No, of course not. But yeah. for everyday use, um, it's a bit like having a Ferrari being stuck in traffic. <laughs> it's a really cool piece of gear that you can trust to do anything. When I'm in Hong Kong, I do a lot of uh, abseiling and waterfalls and climbing. And uh, I have my phone in my pocket the whole time, just like I would in the city. And it's a, it's a pretty neat uh, thing to be able to do that and just yeah. take it out and take a cool photo. Well, and I'm glad you mentioned, too, about the acoustics and making mm. sure that the sound comes through properly, not only your voice via the microphone, but what you're trying to hear. Correct. Uh, whether it's somebody speaking or some music coming out of the speaker, whatever the case. Because we hear oftentimes from a lot of our listeners that they buy an inexpensive waterproof case mm. for something, and now I can't hear when mom calls, you know, right. and, and, or I'm screaming, or she can't hear me, and it's that, that's an important issue. But you guys have made sure to do your research and development to, it's to not block, yet still protect these devices. Correct. And, and that's one of the, the key features about our products. We call our technology true sound acoustic technology. And when you're on the phone having a phone call through our case, no one will be able to tell you have a case on your phone. Nice. It's pretty cool. 
But when you drop it, you know you have a case on the yes, phone. Definitely. Or if you get stuck in the monsoon or otherwise, right. you know you've got a proper case if you've got catalyst covering it. We have a pretty crazy sense. story where a customer was on a roller coaster and the phone slipped out of their pocket with our case on it, fell from around 50 feet, and the phone case was totally fine. Nice. It was pretty cool. They probably were freaking out. but uh, I think a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, were, they were so excited that our case actually protected it from such an extreme amount oh, of yeah. impact that they, they had to tell us. It was pretty cool. We uh, hear these stories all the time. Oh, it's for sure. And, and we hear it back from our audience when you guys send us stuff all the time and we're sending them out as prizes that say, oh, thank God that you sent me that because I've, I have the dropsies anyway. Right. And it's the first phone that I've dropped and not cracked the screen oh, for awesome. a change. Yeah. And that is good. I mean, that's great feedback. So, June, what are you guys showing here at IFA Berlin? Uh, awesome. We just launched a new uh, catalyst case for the new iPad. So this is the 9.7 inch iPad okay. uh, that just launched uh, by Apple this year. Uh, one of the, uh, so everything on our cases is fully functional and fully protected. Um, one of the best features about this product is the uh, sound quality. So the acoustics on that are great. Um, you can use the screen, you can use the Touch ID, you can access the charge ports and the audio jack. Uh, and so everything on it's mm. fully functional. It also comes with a stand that packs flat and then you can fold that up and then use that to prop up your iPad. Oh, nice. Um, this is a ergonomically designed Whoops, so your I, I thumb... I touched the screen and no, messed you up probably. Th no, that's, that's okay. <laughs> so that your thumb fits in there and then yeah. it's grippy. It so it's comfortable to hold. Exactly. It is. So yeah. you're on these long flights to and from Europe or Asia and whatnot and, and you can certainly keep yourself entertained uh, with your iPad. Yes. Uh, now you continue to do things only for the uh, the iPhoneies of the world, as I like to call them, uh -huh. uh, for Apple products. Are we ever going to get you guys to Android? If you can give us a contact at Samsung, we'd be happy to talk yes. to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if they'll only respond to our contact well, request half the time, that's, that's an issue. Uh, it's, it's but and it's not my, mind you, it ain't just Samsung. Of course, they they sell the most. So you want to go where if you're going to start producing uh, device uh, protection covers and whatnot, you want to go with the biggest companies, understandably. Yes. But, yeah, we got to get you to protect uh, these devices. Yeah, of course, I've got two Samsung things here that need that always need protection. Um, but you've also done some new, uh, new things, again, back to Apple, but protecting some more Apple products. Yeah, we continue to do innovate new products. And whenever uh, a, a new uh, Apple accessory or Apple product comes out, we like to see if we can develop something cool for that. And this was a very simple idea to create a waterproof housing for your Apple AirPods. And it actually seals elastically around the top. So it's waterproof and dustproof and impact uh, proof as well. And it's a quick access to your AirPods. Once it's closed up, you have a nice grippy housing, which is an improvement over the bar of soap-like quality that it originally <laughs> comes with. Yes. And uh, so it's uh, grippy. You've got a, a plug on the bottom for the charge And that's the, the technical port. term. It's, it's a, a grippy quality. Grippy quality yeah. is the technical term <laughs> I, I use. But the best is uh, an attachment uh, feature. So you can uh, attach this to your backpack or your belt loop. And it's a much uh, much more convenient to carry these around. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So you're protecting uh, these new Apple products as well that a lot of folks are getting. Correct. <laughs> Uh, and tell me about the fish tank here. It looks great on video. If you're driving in the car and listening on the radio, just visit us at intotomorrow.com and look for uh, the interview with our friends from Catalyst. And you'll see uh, there's uh, Nemo or something floating exactly around the iPhone. Yeah. So yeah. We clone Nemo and we have a bunch of them <laughs> in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great demo. Yeah. But this thing stays underwater constantly. Correct. Yes. And you plug it in and turn it on and people are going, my gosh, you know, and it's really protecting Correct. this iPhone very well. Yeah, actually, I mean, our cases are pretty much indefinitely waterproof at this at this depth. And that's what we say. We over-engineer our products so that you can be confident to use them anywhere. And it's not that they're terribly expensive either. I don't want people listening to think, oh, great, over-engineered, really helpful, you know, better sound, whatever. And they're going to cost me a fortune they don't cost a fortune to be able to protect your phone. And imagine whatever the cost is based on the model phone and the type of case you want and everything else, isn't it a lot better than replacing the phone Absolutely. or replacing that cracked screen a third time or that kind of thing? Right? Yes, and our, our, our products are about 500% more waterproof than the closest competition. And we're about ten to twenty dollars cheaper, depending on the model. Ah, well, per see. Unit. so competitive as well. We are competitive. Yes, gotta love it. Catalystcase.com for more information, and of course, we'll get you there when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Uh, Josh and June, thanks so much for spending some time here. You've got a, a busy exhibit at IFA that a lot of people are looking at all the cool things you're doing. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. It's our pleasure. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. Into Tomorrow continues right here on the Advanced Media Network.